Okay, hello and welcome back, Squirrel Nation. We are diving in. Uh, ooh, this is quite a nice starting screen. Um, so actually, with this screen, I might lock. I think I will lock. And the reason why is because there's actually three pieces that I want. Actually, in this, there's four pieces that I want. But uh, the three that I want mainly are the Goblin Synergy. So I want to get the Soul Breaker and I want to get the Heaven Bomber. So... I think the topic of locking is very interesting. Um, normally, if you have uh, three of a kind, people lock. But I think another time that it's really good to lock is if you can get access to a really strong early game synergy. And the goblins are a, a strong early game synergy. So I think locking that round one basically guarantees you that uh, round four, when you have to fight other people, that you're probably going to have a pretty good time. <clears throat> Especially if you can get a uh, two star out of the last rounds. So anyways, and items, that was really nice. Item drops also. Um, the lucky coin to me is actually probably the best item. Honestly, to where the game's going, I think item selection is something that a lot of focus should go to almost, almost as much as your synergies. Honestly, there's a lot of games that I focus on items even more than I focus on synergies, so. And there we go. And what I mean by that is like, I'll pick my team composition based on items or, you know, like the decisions I'm making in the game are actually more based on the items than they are on uh, the synergies and like what other people are doing as much. So take that and let's see what other people are grabbing. Yeah, nothing special. Somebody does have the early Agaris. That's, I mean, probably the main thing. But otherwise, I'm just looking for two stars. Nobody hit two stars, so. There we go, and what our second offering. Unfortunately, we didn't get offered a life crystal or a lucky coin. I was hoping to get one of those, bam, just like this, because life crystal, we grab that. We grab our lucky coin. Um, Halbert is great. Also, we hit the two star like we discussed. So our early game is gonna be really strong now. So here we go put that on my two star and actually I'm just putting it on the soul breaker because if I go goblins I'll sell soul breaker when I get to my max build and then I can get that halberd back and put it on my damage carry so that's actually the main reason that I'm doing that and goblins I will go goblins if people don't contest there's one other person going goblins um they don't have a ripper either but We'll see, as long as it's not a ton of people. And it kind of depends on my luck. So anyways, we'll keep going with this. <clears throat> but it's looking like a good start. We have two more pairs, uh, Skybreaker, and we also have the Red Axe Chief. Red Axe Chief's not that strong, but I mean, any two star in the early rounds is quite nice. And there we go, now we have four pairs. Um, In this case, Swordsman Chief is quite a nice combo. Um, and I think I'm actually going to sell one of these E-Rangers, even though she's a good unit. The reason I'm doing that is because I basically can get on a really nice win streak. Like I got, I got two of the really like very strong early game synergies, which are Goblin and Cave Clan. And if I mix them together at a five hero composition, uh, plus I got a two star soul breaker, like I should win streak from here. So I, I'm, I'm gonna do that. And then if I win streak, I can afford to just kinda econ up and then get my, get to level eight, nine and 10 quickly. And then, yeah, we can, we, and then we have more flexibility to get legendaries and, you know, built our comp based on what other people are doing type of a thing. So let's see. We have that mage opening. The problem is, and we covered this in yesterday's video, is I don't have mana items offered to me, so I am not going to prioritize that Tortola Elder. Um, also, there is already a mage player. I'm kind of just looking around, but eh. I might hold that. I'm, I'm probably gonna buy it. Uh, we should win this round and then I'll buy the uh, Tortola Elder. So just to get quality pieces in. And, but actually, even at that, I don't want to mess up my synergies. Tortola without a mana item, I don't think is all that strong. 
in the early rounds because his damage comes from the AoE. Um, so when there's only five heroes on the board, it's not as big of a deal. Like I think, a, I think an early game Wind Ranger is a lot better than a Tortola Elder, as an example. So there we go, and. Okay, so we'll take that. We've got, an, uh, got our E-Ranger pair back up. And next round, I will be leveling. So at this point, I get rid of it. Just get another pair on the E-Ranger. Like I said, E-Ranger is a really strong early game carry. And I'm looking for a sixth hero right now. And now I have one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, five pair. So I should hit something two star. Like, fingers crossed, I should hit something two star. Um... Let's see, nice. We should have this round. And you can see there's some enemies who are really getting two start up, so that, that person has three. Um, they're they're ahead. So and they look Yeah, their synergy. Yeah, their synergies aren't strong. But still the, the three two stars are definitely gonna be something. So hopefully I can hit at least one more two star. And you can see somebody beat me, Itachi. And that's why watching this scroll is really important. And there we go, we hit a two star, um, which is nice. And in this case, this makes an interesting choice. I think I'm actually gonna drop the goblin synergy because, uh, and let me readjust this a bit. Actually, you know what, let's come up here. Um, drop the goblin, or the goblin synergy, just because the more heroes you have, the, uh, the less guarantee you have of who's going to get the goblin synergy and that can really impact your team strength and we fight somebody with two by the way you can see how the halberd's helping me it's just you know locking down one of their heroes when you only have five heroes locking one down is quite helpful and it looks like we are going to lose this would be my guess uh unfortunately yeah we are so oh maybe uh, oh never mind we we pulled it out just barely so anyways that ended up good and that two-star abyss, if you look at the DPS meter, he's the top. Um, I think that's a lot more important than one of my random pieces getting to uh, getting the goblin synergy. Anyway, so we did level. Now we got another two-star. Um, here's an interesting choice. I think I'm actually going to drop... Ugh. I'm thinking drop Cave Clan and then I can get a Garrus. Or... I think I am going to do that. I'm gonna lose my warrior synergy, but I think that's okay, to be honest, in this case. Um, and I'm kind of eyeing that that Fallen Witcher. But at the same time, I also think I'm gonna sell my Wind Ranger because I'm not gonna use him for a while and I can Econ. So I'll sell the Wind Ranger and grab the Fallen Witcher just because we don't have a demon. So then I sell the Econ. Um, and yeah, I still have the economy. We're, we're beating everybody now. This was the person who beat us, by the way, Itachi. So we did get the power we needed to beat him. Bam, we hit that two star. That's beautiful. And choices, choices. Um, I think I'm going to give up since I'm not getting the warrior anyways. And that clears up the gold so we can get above 20. And I do want to grab the abyssal guard. Um, it's just a piece that I tend to prioritize in the current meta because there are mages and a lot of different comps you want to go for uh, Abyssal. So anyways, there we go. And yeah, I think we're going good. We're win streaking. Um, we need to decide what our end game comp is going to be. Based on our items, uh, a hunter comp would be okay. A melee comp would be okay. But you can see there's tons of hunters. There's already three hunter teams, so I'm not going that way. There's one mage player and there's no goblins. So, and the fact that I have goblins and where I am and everything, goblins are looking very nice to me. So, there we go. Grab those pieces. Um, here is an interesting choice. Do I want to drop one tank and get in a Umbra? Umbra is nice just to block the enemies, to be honest, but I don't think I really want to use it. Same thing, you can just load up the Skybreaker for now. And then also, I'm going to definitely grab the Lucky Coin if I get a Rod, because if I go Goblins, 
Um, my Venomancer is going to be my carry, and I want to get the Axe of Fury onto my Venomancer, and he will be delicious. So I am going to sell We Are Winning. So I'm going to sell the Econ. And if I go Goblins, um, Abyssal Guard is a, a key piece. So if I can get a three star, that would be great. And I am ahead, so aiming for three stars is something that uh, I think is a wise decision. And... So yeah, I'm thinking six Goblin, four Marine. The reason for that is the Mage player. And there we go, two things we need. Um, The Siren is tempting. We have a Mana Crystal. But the Mana Crystal is on the same page as my coin, so I'm a little hesitant there. And do I want to put in my Siren yet? Probably not. I think I'm going to sit on the Siren right now, to be honest. Uh, I could replace it for the Fallen Witcher, I guess. Because, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. Uh, looking at the DPS meter, the Fallen Witcher wasn't all that important, so I, I, I will do it. And plus, this gives me the Marine Synergy. Um, Marine Synergy, I think people sleep on it early game, early rounds. Like, everybody knows its value late rounds when mages get full on. But even in the early rounds, uh, Abyssal Synergy, or sorry, Marine Synergy is quite nice just because almost all heroes uh, are magic damage for their ultimates so really you're just mitigating hero ultimates when you take marine synergy early which is nice we hit our rippers that's beautiful um econ we're doing good also i mean we are yeah we're second in the game but we're only one gold behind and we're our health is way ahead so things are looking very very nice in this game and the two-star heaven breaker is not really a big deal i mean that's more i'm just grabbing it so we can have our goblins so actually right now we are only uh two pieces away from our six goblins a venomancer or a devastator and the uh second wizard so that's all we need and then we will be sitting really pretty especially if we hit that early <laughs> so yeah things are going good <clears throat> so the agaris are just a placeholder. I can switch out the Agaris units. That is in my mind. Um, and if I see an Abyssal, something like that, we'll grab it. Uh, same thing here. We're just gonna focus on leveling, but I'm just gonna grab those things as blockers type of a thing. You know, one round blocking type of, type of a play. Not the biggest of deals, but you know, it does help. And as your, as your competition rises, you know, blocking somebody can help. Even if it's just for one round, you know, you're, you're, you're giving yourself a little edge. And somebody did grab my Grim Touch, the other wizard, so. But that's only one. People are also leveling uh, ahead of me. I will level this next, after, after this next minion round. Um, I probably should have leveled. It, it's a little greedy. I could have put in the, um, the two-star Heaven Bomber or the Ripper, but I think this is fine. And good. We're winning that. We beat that person from their view and our view. And here we go into Wolfpack. So our greed didn't get punished, which is good for us. And anyways, we're leveling, leveling, still leveling after this. And I'll put in that. Um, For Wolfpack, I don't think we really need to reposition, but I will. Just because I've said that before and it's come to bite me. Bite me in the booty. So there we go go like that this will just should result in a very nice engagement and we got that same thing we're just holding holding the umbra i can even move it like that so i know i can sell it same thing with the e-ranger because we did have what the three people and one two three yep we still have three teams and the, one of them doesn't have the three star umbra and one two two of them don't have their two star e-ranger so um, holding those pieces is pretty annoying for them. There we go. That is the wooden club we wanted. So if you remember, and let's make sure, okay. If you remember, we had that lucky coin and we know at this point we are going goblins. So I do want to grab the lucky coin, grab the, um, rod. There we go. And let's make the item first. Oh, nope. Wrong one. There we go. And there, now we have both lucky coin items, which is really nice. Once again, we'll put on Soul Breaker because that will be getting switched out. There we go. And we can do this and kind of split it up a bit. 
and... Okay. Anyways, everything else goes into leveling. So when I play goblins, I just like to level. Um, so I can get the synergy. Because the synergy is what's really strong. Um, so I just want to get up to level 9 quickly. Get 9, even to 10, so I can get stuff. We are going to lose our streak. Uh, to me, it's not a big deal. Um, because like I said, we, we've already got a huge lead out of this. Our economy is great. Our health is ahead. We should have plenty of time to hit our hit what we need to hit, as long as we don't have crazy bad luck. So now we're to eight, same thing. I keep leveling. I like to just go to nine. Um, what do I want to put in? Probably just put in another melee unit up here. And yep, so there we go. Let's go this way. Do, 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 do. Yep, we're good. And just splitting because there's really no reason for me not to split. I didn't see any assassin team. Yeah, so there's no assassin team, so I don't really need to worry. Plus my main my main damage are not the the backline anyways. So, yeah, I'm not that worried that way. Good. And our soul breaker, wreck and carry the damage meter with the all the items we put on them and like I said those items will shift to venomancer once we get there. Bam, we hit Grim. So, we are just one thing away. We can sell these now, just because I need the space for my own comp. So I'm not going to keep holding them. And at this point, Grim Touch is definitely better than a one-star Ripper. So we will put her in. Probably, yeah, we'll just put her here. Uh, eh, yeah, we'll put her back. Give some space to our team, and anyways, keep leveling. So, there we go. So, we are missing one Goblin. We hit a Devastator, we hit a Venomancer, we are already at six Goblin, and that is going to be looking delicious. And we're fighting second place from their point of view. So let's, we can see how that goes, and Stud is beating us. So these Marksmen are giving us trouble, but that's kind of to be expected until we hit our Goblin. Once we hit our Goblin, that person's also wrecking us, so. Um, once we get nine, we are going to reroll because I want to stop the bleeding. Um, but bam, there we go. We hit our synergy. So now we just got to move things out and it is time to sacrifice. There we go. And there we go. And I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. And for right now, I guess I will take this out. And... There we go. Anyways, leveling, 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 leveling. And after this round, we will level and I'll get my siren back in there. And yeah, we are looking pretty good. I don't think there's too much to complain about. Um, if we can hit a Devastator, that will obviously be a really big power spike for us. Uh, same thing for a uh, Tsunami Stalker. But we just hit a major power spike just getting to six Goblin. So like the, I, I'm not as worried now as I was one round ago. And just looking at items, nice, our Abyssal, oh, and we get our Ripper, so that's great. And we get to level here. Actually, I'm just going to wait for it. I'm going to allow it to level next round. And then, yeah, we'll go with that. Because we don't need this for the minion round, so we'll just... Won't waste the gold. Abyssal we're definitely going to keep, so I'm definitely going to try to take it to 3-star. Um... I could even think about putting the items onto Abyssal if we're going to hit it to 3-star so, instead of my Venomancer. Um, Venomancer is just really nice because his attack speed after he ults gets insane. So um, Abyssal you saw has a 1.2 second, but Venomancer gets all the way down. You can get him to about a 0.5 second attack speed, which is insane. <clears throat> and nice, we have lots of armor items. What do we have in our bag here? Okay, and we did level... Um, I am going to re-roll here and just try to hit some of the other stuff we want, like our Siren. We know we're competing for Siren and Tsunami Stalker, so. And yeah, we'll do it there for now. I'm gonna put in our Siren and let's spread out like this. And let's see. Oh, there we go. We got our Axe of Fury, so that's beautiful. Um, yeah, we can also, so in a goblin, there's nothing I'm going to want to silence. So I do want to make my, um, prophet's mask 
Ghost Prophet's Mask, so that's a good item. And out of these, the uh, Halberts don't stack, so there's no point in getting a second one. The Mana Crystal kind of looks good, but so does the armor. So if I can get Barbaric Armor, our Venomancer is going to be insane. He's going to have Axe of Fury, uh, and, but actually we might be stacking our Abyssal Guard here. So let's see. We got that. Grim, nice. And there we go. Econ is perfect. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of wait on the items. I don't need to push them too bad. Um, we sell the Soul Breaker once we hit our Devastator. Um, and that will allow us to get to the six mech also if we can hit, hit a helicopter. So, yeah. And I could start to go towards 10 which I, I, I might start doing. I, I wanted to hit the Siren because I am a little... I We know we're heavily competing for Siren. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four... Four <laughs> Marksman team. Surprise, surprise. And you can already see there's three, four different teams, counting myself, that have Sirens. So the longer we put off trying to reroll for Siren, we're just kind of putting ourselves in a, a harder and harder spot. Good thing is I do have the Egg which I probably will use on Siren um, just because there is so much competition for it. A lot of the time I would hold Egg for either hitting the Abyssal, uh, Abyssal Guard or hitting a, a two-star Devastator, but um, Abyssal is not really contested. Actually, I don't think it's contested at all. And yeah, so just the Siren so it stays alive and gets alt off. If you notice, it didn't get alt off again. So that's kind of been more of my issue. So anyway, 65 health, we're doing good. We are only three behind first place, and yep. And actually that mage player, yeah, the mage player is top. So our the fact that we're going for that four marine is going to help us quite a bit. And I think on that note, I think I am going to start to level. Just to give my, one, I have good stuff to put in. I can put another two star in. Um, also, I want to raise my chance of getting the Legendary, and we're just not having luck with the Siren, and I don't want to stall my, my team too much. Actually, let's do that. So, there we go. The Genie I normally put in the corner because it depends where people are, but see, people are putting Siren's middle, so I'm actually going to move my, my Genie so that he can steal um, the Siren ultimate. So... The genie has become a lot of fun for me. I didn't used to really understand how to use him, but now that I've learned how to use him, he he is quite a fun unit. And no, we kind of take a beating there, but that's fine. And anyways, we're leveling, leveling, leveling. I could pick up the abyssal crawler for my to get three marine synergy. Um, that that's something I'm kind of considering, but we'll see. And grim, eh. Actually, I, I kind of want to save the, the item, the magic staff, for my um, my Devastator. So we'll, we'll keep that for now. Also, the life. Eh, I'll move it to Abyssal Guard for now. And we shall see. Okay, let's see what we get here. So I might grab the Mana Crystal if we hit... If we can just get our siren to two star at one star it's just like even if i stack her with mana items it's eh. and here i definitely want this so if we can get two mana crystals i have one we can have our orb of refreshing so that's really nice so i'm still gonna hold off to see what we get and we are leveling leveling and i think i might just level this round because we have been losing it's not quite on curve, but it's close. There we go. And anyways, Siren, let's back you off. Close our ranks. There we go. And yeah, anyways, we have quite a level lead on the other people at the, the high end. You can see the bottom two people are the only other people at level 10. We are fighting the mage. So if I would have grabbed that Abyssal Crawler, we probably could have done better here because I could have the four Marine, but we're beating them anyways just with two and the fact that we have 10 units, they only have eight, so we are fine. But if I see another Abyssal Crawler, I probably will grab it just until I get the Tsunami Stalker. And 
hopefully the mage player can start knocking off some of these uh, other hunter or the the hunter players before they get too powerful. There we go. We're just looking. Yep, same thing. I'm not going to use my egg yet. I'm I'm not in a hurry. And even if I use my egg to get a three star abyssal, I'm going to be putting in a one star skybreaker. So, not really worth it. And so, the pieces we're looking for: Devastator, Helicopter, um, and Tsunami or Tsunami Stalker. Yeah, I think it's called Tsunami Stalker. The the five cost marine. <laughs> okay, let's check. What is this? Am I using the right name? Yeah, Tsunami Stalker. Yay, go me. Okay. So, ch -ch -ch, the knight. Bam, our siren's finally getting her alt off since we took her out of the front line with the mana item we got on her. So that is helping. And there we go. Nice. And, ch -ch -ch, yep, just that. Okay. And yeah, we're just re-rolling. And from here, I mean, it's all that RNG. Just, can we get lucky or not? I'm going to be a little greedy here because to be honest the mage player doesn't worry me what worries me is some of these hunters getting crazy so and if the hunters get crazy my answer is going to be having a two-star devastator um if i get a two-star devastator it will crush the hunter teams so that's why i'm saving the egg right now i'm not really worried about the mage we already saw we were beating him what i am worried about is if some of these hunters high roll and get crazy comps um but yeah so anyways, that's going good. We are crushing through. If I get Devastator, we can sell that Soul Breaker and then we can get those items, hopefully onto a three-star Abyssal Crawler and things will be looking really delicious. Bam, oh my gosh, everything everything we could want in one, in one go. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna give up on some of these things just because I wanna make the space. There we go. Uh, we're getting rid of that. We're putting in that. I do not want to mess this up right now. Okay, so we're good there. Now we have our items. We are going to put it here. Just because, like I said, we have him very close to three star. And I need to I need to change my positioning on my Devastator, but that, that's okay. I just didn't want to not have items, not have that stuff. And now you can see with the four Marine Synergy, these mages become like nothing scary at all. So yeah, we're absolutely destroying the mage now. The mage has been destroying the hunters, so we are good to go. And we have the option to make our three star. We have the option to get our siren. So not any, I think we're in a great spot. I mean, yeah. And there we go. We got the Venomancer. Okay, Ripper. I mean, we can pick it up for now. There we go. Okay. Um, as far as, yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, there's, I think everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I like, boom, there we go. And I generally like to do something like this. Most teams are gonna be in the top right. So this gets my Devastator takes damage. He ults quickly. And then my Venomancer gets off his ult, which will help. Um, as far as the items, by the way, normally I make the Venomancer the carry because his attack speed gets so crazy. And, um, but in this, okay, nice. And we can get our Orb of Refresh. If you remember, we needed two mana crystals, which we now have. So there's one. Let's make sure we didn't pick one up from the round. Oh, also, there we go. That's beautiful. So one onto the, the, the Siren, two onto the Siren. And now we have an orb of refreshing. Nice. Okay, so there's that. Devastator, get back up there. Reroll, reroll. We don't hit, not a big deal. And once again, there's nothing on this team I want to silence. So I'm just going to get another Ghost Prophet mask. And this one will go on my Venomancer. Um, and yeah, so you can see the, the hunters, like we said, as soon as that Devastator bomb goes off, especially at two star, that's GG. Um, this should just be a win. Uh, I, I don't really see how the enemies can compete with me at this point. Um, yeah, we are good. So there we go. And yeah, we're just working towards three stars and other stuff. Uh, I could grab that for to kind of prevent other people from grabbing it. More of a block. I am... There we go. We hit our three star. Beautiful. And... Lucky coin, we can just put evasion. 
just stack up our carry. Same thing with life steal. Uh, actually, the auras I'm not sure stack, and I'll I'll move it to my. I'm not sure the auras stack. I can't remember. I need to go look at the item chart on that. Um, if somebody knows, please leave in the comments if uh, Ghost Prophet masks uh, stack the magic. The reason I don't know if they stack is because I don't think. Um, like the reason frantic mass stack is it's a base stat the the life steal is a base stat of it whereas ghost prophet mask it's an aura so i don't think auras stack but i could be wrong so if somebody knows please let me know in the comments anyways there we go we're looking for helicopter we're looking for our siren um those those are the big things and anything juicy i don't really need that um by the way if you look at oh no our deeps and the i'm not combining this because we already have disarm and like i said they don't stack so there's no point in making multiple disarms and oh they got a two-star devastator too but anyways my bomb goes off they are crushed siren the cc oh this is actually pretty close but hopefully we can hit our you can see the abyssal is pounding faces pounding faces I think what's happening is he's getting disarmed, but as soon as the disarm wears off, he's just wrecking through the enemy. And there we go. Okay, so now we got that. Unfortunately, we still are not hitting our siren to two star. <laughs> wow, another devastator. I'll grab that just to block too. Um, okay, I think I'm doing too much blocking now. And my removal can be, I'm messing something up here. Um, oh, I'd have to drop I'd have to drop my marine synergy, which do I care about it anymore? Let's check. Uh, no, I do not. So after this, I'm going to take out the uh, tsunami stalker, put in the helicopter, just because the helicopter is going to help me more against the this other team left. And this team is not going for the dark spirit, so I will sell the dark spirit. And yep. And they, they already have a two-star Devastator. Yeah, they already have a two-star Devastator also. So I'm just also going to sell the two-star, the Devastator, because they're not going to go for that. There we go. We can keep holding on for now. Okay, nice. Oh, no, keep re-rolling. And we should look at these items. Okay, so we take that out. Um, I really, really, really want to hit that. Uh, okay, in this case, yes, nice polymorph. That's beautiful. And I'm going to put some stuff onto our um, Venomancer. And just to make him kind of a second carry. Also, let's see what alt I want to steal. Probably the two, the Devastator. So if you notice, the Devastator is in the fourth fourth position from the left, which means they'll be fourth position from the right on my, my screen. But let's make sure that's where it is really. And yes, so fourth from the right, so he is where the Ripper is. So all I have to do is do that. And and then I will be stealing a Devastator alt, and if the enemy does not um, pay attention to that, he will not be happy, Camper. Wow, I'm very tempted to try to just... <laughs> I kind of want to just do this because I want to get... I've never got the th any of the three-star legendaries, so that's why. But let's see. Yep, scouting. He didn't position. So you'll notice my genie will also drop a bomb. So I will have two Devastator bombs. There's one, and I think my genie might have died first, unfortunately. Siren's ult was a little slow. Or actually, maybe it did get off. I'm not sure. But anyways, beat him. We crush him from this point of view. So that is good. And actually, you know what? I think he... Did I mess this up? Oh, actually, wait. I think it's mirrored. So maybe I need to switch him in the, it might need to be like this. Cause it might be the person in front of him. So I might be messing up the genie, the genie. We'll, we'll see. I think I am because he should be way up my DPS meter. Yeah, he should be way higher than that if he stole, but let's check. So yeah, no, I had him in the right spot. So I guess, I guess my genie was just dying before he could ultimate is all that was happening there. But anyways, Devastator, bam, Venomancer, melting through. And yeah, same thing with my Abyssal as soon as that stuff wears off. And that is GGG. So there we go. Um, once again, normally I would make Venomancer my carry. It's just that my, my three-star Abyssal guard was almost guaranteed. So that's why I ended up making him my damage carry. 
Um, and then when you're going goblins, focus on getting all of the melee. You want the Axe of Fury and you want the... Um, I'm not sure what the upgraded version is called of the of the halberd but whatever the upgraded halberd is called you want that and if i could have got a barbaric armor that would have been super super good but anyways um that's a goblin game goblin uh for marine for mages once the mages get out of the game if you want to deal with the hunters i like to drop one of the marines and then i can bring in my helicopter and then i get six mech synergy for that crazy regen and at that point um you just out survive the hunters and your devastator can just clean up but anyways i hope you all enjoyed today's video uh take care and i will see you all tomorrow